Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. In this video, we're gonna give you a simple and easy routine you can do to improve your forward fold and your pancake mobility. A quick advice before we dive into this routine. This routine is not only for people with tight hamstrings or a weak hip flexors, or who just started with their forward fold or pancake mobility training. This is also for more advanced people who search for a quick and simple way to make more mobility gains. Also, don't forget to check out our online mobility keen stretch course with lots of free videos and classes to try out. And on this platform, in this course, we're gonna release a six week pancake series soon. First, we will target the hamstring. Most of you are probably familiar with Jefferson curls. The variation we will go through today is one that isn't as common and well known though. We will pair the stretch with isometric contractions in the lowest position. Start by standing on a box. If you're new to this, choose a lighter weight, sub 8 kilo. Tuck your chin under and slowly let gravity pull you into your deepest forward fold or pike position. In this deep, Pike, start to engage your quads to pull yourself deeper into the forward fold. Go for a total of three contra contractions and each contraction is five seconds long. After the last contraction, slowly ascend back into your starting position. Repeat for another three to four repetitions and a total of three sets. Your goal is to fight for a deeper stretch and pike each repetition. So after we opened up more range of motion with the Jefferson curls and the moils, we now want to strengthen this newly acquired range of motion. This is gonna be a very brutal superset for your hip flexors to really show your central nervous system that you want to have and work for more range of motion so that it can and will release the tightness you have in your hamstrings. This one is a passive range hold for straight leg hip flexion. You can do this with either a partner or a band, like you see it here. We first want to pull our leg into maximum hip flexion, then fully engage your quads and go back by around 5 to 10 degrees. Try to then hold your leg in place without drop, dropping it lower. Hold it for 5 to 10 seconds and repeat it for 3 more reps. Right after you've finished, immediately go into a half 90 position and perform end range rotationals. If you cannot lift up your leg in this position, then just elevate yourself onto your yoga block or decrease the angle of the non-working leg. Take a deep breath before you start and engage your whole body. Lift up and do 10 circles clockwise and 10 circles counterclockwise. Be honest to yourself here and really fight not to lean back too much to cheat and make it easier. Try to reach three sets on both sides to really create change and gain more strength and mobility over time. In a previous video, we talked about how spending time in a certain position helps with getting comfortable in it. So to finish this routine off, you will spend time in a forward fold. Find a comfortable and slightly challenging position in which you can relax and focus on your breath. We have three re-end progressions that you can choose from to make this task work for you. One is the standing straddle forward fold. This is the easiest variation because gravity helps you out a little bit. You can pull yourself deeper if you want to or just hang loose in your forward fold. Option two is an elevated forward fold. Sit on a yoga block, for example, and attempt a pancake or straddle fold. Again, the aim is to be able to relax in the position and to minimize the feeling of tightness. Option three is the most advanced position. It is a forward fold position in straddle on the ground. Choose or find your degree of the pike and relax. The goal here is to relax and breathe and slowly sink deeper as you get more and more comfortable in the forward fold position, no matter which progression you choose. Avoid building up tension. This task is solely designed to relax, breathe and calm down in an unusual position. If you've enjoyed this video, then leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Furthermore, make sure to check out our online Kinsrich course, where we will release a pancake and forward fold series in the upcoming weeks. 
Sign up to try some classes for free.